the best opportunity I've had to learn new skills about science. Just decided to make some stick and stick. Get a stick and this is a 3D pen. Here's what you need to try and discover. Here are the materials. Investigate with your own like method, which is pretty cool, yeah. Hi, I'm Rick Johnson. Welcome to the best kids science lab in the world. This is called a, an augmented sandbox. We could probably use this to teach children in year one contour lines, what a topographical map is all about, and we could teach them features. And he began as a generalist teacher and he saw the opportunity to, be, to become a science specialist as something just out of the ordinary and something that was totally unexpected. So from the moment that he took on that role, he began evolving what has now become this incredible STEM laboratory. And from day one, it excited children and we never looked back. If it wasn't for the lab, I wouldn't have never known that 3D printers really existed, to be honest. It doesn't require much knowledge to use, and yeah, it's just generally quite easy. The key to going into a science specialist role from the very first day was I thought we'd seriously underestimated the type of science learning that kids can do, and I'll, I'll stick to that to this day. You, you've got the volcano happening on the desk. Can you try? Yeah, sure. Everything we do is like research and development. We scour the internet for new ideas in teaching. If something works, we embrace it. Sometimes we fail, but if you fail, you're, a, um, you're probably an innovative teacher. This is the best STEM lab I've ever seen and I think the world's ever seen. Having a lab in the school, you can really bring in some rich experiences for them. You can talk the science and it changed the um, culture of the school. I started collecting autographs for my students from scientists in the world. Well, my children wanted to start with the best scientist in the world, Stephen Hawking. And they, I couldn't believe it. Um, he was gracious enough to send 100 autographs to my students. Uh, from then on, we asked scientists at the CERN uh, facility. They sent posters. How inspirational. Everyone in science inspires me. And I was at the graduation the other day and I would say at least a third of them had aspirations in their speeches that they gave to become something in science. Having Mr Jada show us all different types of science and all these different scientists, both male and female, kind of shows me that I can do whatever I want to do. We need to engage into things and feel rather than just looking at how someone else has felt. Rick recognises uh, the potential in, in students and, and lets them come out of their shell. I've learnt a lot to find the best way to, to reach uh, students and, and, and get them to be curious and get them to ask questions. And it's, it's embedded in our school now and that's what we've tried to get out there with the website, with the teachers visiting, with the countless numbers of emails that come through. The amount of resources alone that he's given me over the past years have been huge and never expected anything in return for it, from it. He just loves to share. I have principals ring me up and say, a parent came in and said, why haven't we got a science program going like we've got it, they've got it at Rostrata? How did you do it? If you do not get children when they're young involved in science, I don't know how we're going to get through all the problems of the, of the 21st century. He's a very inspirational person. Um, I've personally been inspired by him a massive amount. I know our science program at school wouldn't be what it is without, without his guidance and, and his support. Um, and my lessons wouldn't be the same without his constant um, networking and, and feedback. And um, got, he's incredible. Uh, two of the fastest cars here today from the F1 Challenge. Are, are you ready to uh, see how they work? Yeah. All right, here we go. So. Sure, You're kind of like um, ready? in Neverland. You ready, guys? One, two, three. The people around you never get any older, wow. um, yeah, and that, I think, keeps me young. I've really enjoyed my career, and I think at the moment it's the best that it can be because every day 
I, I get up, I get excited about coming into this place. You've just got to have a look around. And um, I think when you're excited about coming to, to work, you do a much better job. And believe me, the, the kids pick up on your own excitement. So um, there's some uh, really uh, great looks from children when they walk, walk in here. And they, every day they just say, what's new today? So, uh, and that's what I love. That's, that's pretty fast car. Yeah.